All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get down to business because it's time for another burping contest. But we've been up and down this aisle several times now and we still cannot decide on what we want. I'm leaning towards zero sugar, winter spice, cranberry, and fresca. Dave, what are you leaning towards right now? Um, I don't know. Dave has no idea. No comment. I did see this and I'm, I'm intrigued by this. If this was keto. I don't, I don't know if there'd be a lot of burping action. It depends on the, the type of carbonation in it. I mean, that's, yeah. I, Ginger ale's always solid. That's true. I'll show you a couple other options that I'm considering at this point. Because I love trying different things for bourbon contests. And I, I love sticking with root beer because root beer is a, a classic. So I'm considering a Diet Dad's root beer and a Diet Fitch's root beer. So that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. But at the same time, that's only, what, 24 ounces? 24 ounces of liquid. Usually I get like 40, if not a two liter. So I just don't want to shortchange my shelf. My, my shelf. Don't want to shortchange my shelf. Like I'm Sean Connery over here. <laughs> and, they don't, and they don't have a four pack of the diet. Ooh, they do have zero sugar regular Canada dry. So that, that's an option. Yeah. What's Dave looking at? Reeds, gin, real ginger ale. 33 grams of sugar. Mm, no. Or we could get this diet cock and bowl. I don't know. That just sounds. I think we'll pass. Dangerous. <laughs> All right, so Dave is in a moment of reflection right now and possibly considering a different different avenue here. What do we what are we thinking here, Dave? Beer. <laughs> Just to lay it out there. <laughs> and I don't drink. And so this would literally be the first time that there'd be alcohol ever featured on my channel. But I, I, did, I did give Dave the go ahead. Yep. Uh, Cause I want him to feel confident in his burping options. And if he feels like that's the best way, then I'm cool with that. It is what it is. Uh, but I think I'm personally, as I've walked by it, I'm leaning more towards the winter spiced cranberry sprite coke products usually don't do me wrong so we're gonna hold oh, i'll drop that so we're gonna give that a go and we'll uh, bust over to the spirits section where dave's gonna get an evil spirit in his body known as beer wow being in this wine and spirit section makes my skin crawl i feel like i'm burning like someone put holy water on me and it's like sizzling on my skin what have i allowed you to do uh, a really good thing. Is it? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Hmm. I guess we'll see at the end of the night when you get a little looser. <laughs> he goes for these fancy dancy little colorful cans. <laughs> no, he's probably gonna go with White Claw. No. No? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go with Sprite. Two you're chips. You're gonna get vodka with peach, cucumber, tea, and thyme. Oh, he, this is where Dave belongs. Just surrounded by beer. <laughs> I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, the, the cool temperatures in here feel really great. Get some PBR. No, I'm leaving a Well, no, I'm not saying to get a 12 pack. Don't they sell them in a, a smaller capacity? You don't know if they make anything less? Yeah. Obviously, I don't know if they make anything less. <laughs> you do. Do I? You just don't want other people to Bro, I don't even eat beer battered food, okay? What? No. Oh, the beer gets cooked out of the I don't care. I don't care. Wow. Leave your comments down below. Do you what? think I'm insane because I don't drink alcohol? Never have. 34 years and, and a handful of months that I've been alive. Okay. Never drank alcohol. Shut up, I'm talking. <laughs> Never drank alcohol and I do not eat anything that has been cooked with alcohol either. I just have a really, a really strong conviction against alcohol. Unlike Dave, who has no convictions about anything. If you didn't hear that, he said, nope. It's like turning a kid loose in the candy section. <laughs> All right, what you make? What, what, what decision did you make? Quesera. Quesera Sara Ale. Yes. Okay. Six cans to my one two liter. Yep. This should be even. All right, make sure we gotta get you to bed by 10 o'clock. Yep. Quite a while. What's it down? Preview not available. Oh, apparently we are recording. Hi. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna dive in. <laughs> All right, get your uh, your liquid. Okay. 
So tonight's Burpa Cola is Sprite Zero Sugar Winter Spice Cranberry and <laughs> read it off to the folks. Big Grove Brewery. <laughs> que Sera Sour Ale. And although you might think otherwise, he has not opened one and drank anything yet. No, I haven't. He is literally just this slow mentally. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's just get right to it, baby. Let's do it. Oh, lots of carbonation. Your beer stinks. Your Sprite stinks. <laughs> I just pooped up in my face. <laughs> We're off to a good start. As it drips from my nose. Dave, you know, over these last couple months, I've noticed that on my channel, you have gained a certain level of popularity with uh, my audience. Is there anything that you'd like to say with this newfound stardom? I'd like to say thank you. It means a lot. I try my best. To, Which isn't much. To top Jesse. My goal is to eventually take over his channel and get more views than he does right now. <laughs> hey, you know what? We all have to have goals and aspirations in life. So I mean, I can't, I can't uh, talk down to that. Like at least he has goals and dreams that he'll never obtain. But at least he has something. This is gonna take. <laughs> yeah, you might. The win. excuses already. It's gonna might. take a while. It's win. gonna take a while. You might win this one, dude. Don't give up yet. Oh, I'm not. Once it kicks in, okay. exactly. That's why you have six cans and have a two liter. That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> Mine's like a. <laughs> yeah, and remember, like sometimes it just doesn't go the way we expect it to. Look at Gert, like. He had a really rough go, but by the end of it, he was pushing out more burps than I even remembered until I went back and edited it, so. Oh, good for him. Mm-hmm. Oh, that was gross. Did you get food with that? No. Oh, that's I lucky. Got, I got fizz, it was weird. <laughs> a lot of foam on that one. <laughs> That was a can burp. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why I just started laughing. You're gonna get a, a ring on your phone. Yeah, we're getting uh, complaints from your, your neighbors saying there's loud, boisterous noises coming from inside your room. Probably. Can you please keep it down? And I'm gonna just burp in the background. You're gonna hang up giggling like a little girl. <laughs> exactly, just like that. We're getting in there. By the way, I don't know if we've ever dis discussed why we always meet up in a hotel room. <laughs> so, you all know I'm married, and Dave is just recently married. We promise that we're not mistresses to each other. But we could. We are, though. But that's not the reason that we get together in a hotel room. Yeah, that's not the point. No. Dave does electrical things. When he's done chugging, he can explain it for you himself. Why, why are you here? I'm doing work at a credit union that is based in Dubuque, but they're putting other locations in throughout Iowa. <laughs> are you done? I am now, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> doing 
the low voltage for them. Low voltage. Say that uh, eight. Say that uh, eight. Say that uh, eight. Say that uh, eight. <laughs> say that in layman's terms. Like, what does that even mean? Data. Okay. I run continue. data. What, what does that even mean? I uh, basically run internet to different parts of the building. That is better. <laughs> that is better. I'm that sure, is understandable. I'm sure they probably would know. Right. I'm sure the, the gist of my audience will, but I'm sure there's going to be some people on there that have no idea. You know? Wow, he's going for it. <sighs> you can see he's very relaxed. It's like I'm forcing out a turd. It's true. Maybe beer was a better choice. <laughs> While talking about doing a rematch, you've always said, I'm going to do alcohol next time. I'm going to do beer next time. And now you're already regretting that? Kind of. See, this is why when you, when you made this choice, I said, you have to commit. I'm committing. I know. I'm committing. But you can't make excuses for it. The people don't want excuses, they want verbs. You're right, you're right. Yeah. I'm getting close to almost halfway done. It is really good. If you guys have never tried the, the Sprite Winter Spice Cranberry, it literally tastes like Christmas. Which, we're filming this on November 2nd, so we're officially in that Thanksgiving Christmas time. Thanksgiving, as I like to say. It's it's all one big holiday get together. No. Yes, it is. It's Don't listen to him. He's a Grinch. It's just, I'm not a Grinch. Yes, you are. Last year was the first time I ever saw you voluntarily listen to Christmas music, so don't give me that. You're not a Grinch. What was that? You, li you sent me a video of you listening to Christmas music on your record player, and I was like, holy crap, hell has frozen over because you're listening to Christmas music. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was only for like one song. Just because I wanted to see how it sounded. And I did. Uh, you're literally proving my point. Do I have a booger hang up? Point. Do I have a booger hang up? Point. Do I have a booger hang up? Point. <laughs> okay, okay. There we go. That's getting there. Thanks. Sit up. Sit up a little bit. Sometimes that's what helps me is if I sit up. If I sit up more straight. Oh, it felt really good though. It helps the, take a little bit more pressure off the diaphragm. You're probably right. Stuck. Oh, it hurts. <sighs> oh, yeah, there it was. <laughs> All right, so you're almost halfway through your cans, and I'm almost halfway through my bottles. So we're we're pretty on pace so. with one another. I'm finna drink a whole two liter tonight, so man, I'm gonna feel like a racehorse after this. And one of us will probably be drunk. <laughs> and we can pretty much bet who that's going to be. Me. <laughs> I will say, so my brother and I, we neither of us drink. And usually when we live together, just me and Seth, we didn't allow people to drink in our apartments. There was one night, it was the beginning of Thanksgiving break, I believe 2008. <coughs> Everyone was leaving to go home for Thanksgiving break, but Seth and I had to work or something like that, so we weren't going home. And Dave still lived in the same town as us. So we said, Dave, get whatever alcohol you want, come on over to our apartment, you can do whatever you want. If you wanna get drunk, whatever, at least you're gonna do it in a safe environment. Seth and I are gonna toss back multiple energy drinks, and we're just gonna have a great night. And this man, wow, he put on a show. He doesn't remember much of it, except for videos, as always. Back up, back up, hey, hey, back up.
Back up, dance for me. Damn it, back up! Dance, dance! No, back up. No, back up. Stay right there. Stay right there or the ghost will get you. I drank four energy drinks in a span of three hours. Now granted, I've never been drunk. I've never drank alcohol, so I don't know what an actual alcohol hangover feels like. But the next morning, I was nauseous. I had a headache. I was weak. I call him up and I'm like, dude, tell me what a hangover feels like. And he's like, yep, you have a hangover. <laughs> from energy drinks. So if you were curious, if you can get hungover from too much energy drinks, you absolutely can. And it gives you diarrhea. A lot of caffeine coursing through those veins and through them bowels and intestines. Loosens everything up. So if you're constipated and you're looking for a little bit of a buzz, drink for energy drinks. Energy drinks. Yeah, they, yeah. Specifically, they were Mountain Dew amps back then because they didn't have these 300 it milligrams. Mm -hmm. oh, it was yeah. back when they had the, they had like cherry Mountain Dew amp, grape Mountain Dew amp, uh, blueberry yeah. Mountain Dew amp, and then a regular Mountain Dew amp. Yep. Yep. And so I got one of each and it was, it was, it was a lot of fun. It really was. We had a great night, dance party. It was, maybe, maybe slouch again. People ask for that all the time, and it's like almost impossible. <laughs> on keto, trust me, on keto, unless I eat something that jacks um, up my gut, yeah, it's nearly impossible. That's true. Yeah, that's a good point. Because I'm giving it a thought, but it's it's almost impossible. Yeah. And the fact that I get weird like sexual comments about my burps, <laughs> I'm not about getting sexual comments about my rectum. <laughs> Can we just go back to those sexual comments you get about your burping? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I get some interesting comments about my burps. Can you? Can you? Uh, I don't want to relive them. Someone asked me to show them my feet one time. If what? Someone asked me to show them my feet on a video. Oh, so they're not even related to burp. No, it is. They want. So I would, like I you was, would burp on your feet? No, no, no. I was asked. Here's a, a burp specific one. But on a burping contest video, someone commented and said, "Next time, will you show us your feet?" while you burp and i was like that's weird bro another person asked me to take the gopro and stick it in my mouth so we could see my uvula shake <laughs> yeah so cheers ladies and gentlemen <laughs> welcome to my world <laughs> i need to use some of these stopped up burps because i'm getting real bloated <laughs> oh god bless it <laughs> There's a lot of build up there. You know, I tried it. <laughs> Just, you know. You want some of my Sprite? No, it's fine. I'll okay. pour it in your can. No, it's okay. Okay. I guess if you want to. I'll give you some. Okay. That's what friends are for. <laughs> You can definitely tell it's zero sugar. Oh, I'm sure. Well, and it's less uh, carbonated because I've been chugging this back and forth. That sounded weird. I inhaled a bunch of air and okay. I was just stuck in my diaphragm. Work that it time. out, work it out, work it out, work it out, work, 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 work. <laughs> Ooh, it's coming. <laughs> I 
worked it out. Right oh. on. It stinks too. It smells like spinach and artichoke filled chicken breasts. Oh, my phone. Ah! Oh! I'm down for the count. It's all your brother. It's fine. He's not even a real family anyway. So. Yeah, he, moved, he moved to New York, so he's kind of out of it now. He's, I'm a real family. <coughs> We did talk to my dad before we started recording. He did call you son, and you did call him dad. I, know. I was so excited about that. Yeah. Now you just need an official name change, and <laughs> then you can take over my channel. David Olney. Yeah. But then that means Kelsey would have to change her last name again. Worth it. I mean, <laughs> Big House to, to Olney, clear winner here. Yeah, well, that is true, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. This is getting this is getting tough. Get a little back backed up, a little bloated. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Get up and do do a little workout dance. <clears throat> work it out, work it out, work it out, yeah, work it out. Go back here and dance so they can see you. Oh, twerking it up in this joint. <laughs> Go in here so they can really see you. Go Davy. Go Davy. Go Davy. Oh, oh, boss it Davy. Boss it Davy. Go Davy. I don't know how to do it. I don't even know how to. How do you do that? You want to watch two adult men learn how to floss? Wait, why do I want to go? Uh, I need uh, to go like uh, the uh, opposite uh, way. Uh, uh, well, that's pretty uh, good. And then I messed it up. Well, that's the best you're going to get, ladies yeah. and gents. You're welcome. It's all me doing the floss. Uh, I feel like there's buildup. I'm sure. Uh, you just got to work, work it out. Do a little, little diaphragm uh, tap. No, don't punch it. Uh, Just a little, little fluffiness. Are you sure? Uh, probably is a mouse in uh, Probably. I bet it was your uh, It had to have been your phone. It wasn't, though. While we're doing this, should we film a TikTok, too? Yeah. Okay. Well, happy holidays, everybody. Time for some burps. Uh, oh, I puked on that one. We'll finish that later. I'm about done, kids. We're gonna finish this off. So if you wanna go for the gusto, now's your time. Oh, oh I'm definitely coming to the end here. Yeah, I'm definitely getting waterlogged. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Oh, that's two liters of pop here, kids. Oh my God. So I think one thing we've learned. Which is what? Probably just stick with carbonated. Heavily, heavily carbonated beverages. Yeah, yeah. I tried it. I know that it is not as effective. So beer's not carbonated? <clears throat> no, I mean, it's got some. Oh, okay. See, I literally know nothing about beer. I thought so, because I know it has bubbles and froth. Yeah. Or whatever. Foam. Foam. Uh, 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 uh. backed up and I'm not talking about constipation. <laughs> I'm like right there. I'm so close to just being done. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> oh, two liters, Sprite Zero Sugar, white spice, white winter spice cranberry, <laughs> Dunzo. And I'm done, kids. I can't do it anymore. I'm so full of pop, soda, Sprite, poop. No, oh, I pooped earlier. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right, give us one last go, bro. I don't think I got it. Okay. I can feel that I don't got it. All right, we're both tapping at this point. Ladies and gentlemen, it's another burping contest rematch in the books. It's one of my best friends, David Beckus. Dave Bakehouse, love this man. Glad we could do this. He did good. Always on the, the trail to try something new. 
I never tried that Sprite with, with bourbon contest before. He'd never tried beer. And we figured out what is better. And apparently a stronger carbonation is still what, what works for anybody. Literally anybody at this point. Still is king. Still is king. So let us know down in the comments who had the best burps. Time code your favorite burps. I love when you do that. I love to go back and watch you guys' favorite burps, your highlighted burps. And as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And remember, it is all knee and no foot, and we will see you in the next one. Hey, goodbye, Dave. Goodbye. Look into your eyes. What should we listen? <laughs>